most of this art on sale at the East African auction recently held in Nairobi is a vibrant mix from the 1970s through to the early tan of this century. It's a rich collection by artists and collectors in what organizers say is the largest auction since they started in the region seven years ago. So what do you Sane Wade named his painting. When God met man, how was the situation? It's his imagination of the conflict of emotions. I chose a lot of red. Tabitha Waduku says her work represents farms, blossoming flowers, and devastating weeds she saw in central Kenya a few years ago. You know, when you plow the land, after a few days, there's a lot of weed growing. After a few days, there's a lot of seeds coming. So, so the farmers were kind of uh, telling me how they get frustrated. Art lovers and buyers alike are attracted to auctions such as this across the continent. But some in the industry argue a crippling lack of infrastructure and support has limited the growth of the art market, forcing talent to look elsewhere for opportunity. So this is from 1977. The founder of this auction says things are changing for the better. There's been an enormous boom. Um, emerging markets, uh, the art market tends to follow emerging markets. There was a boom in China, there was a boom in India. Um, it's now our time. Um, we've been predicting a boom for the last eight or 10 years, but in the last two years, we've really seen it. Artist Clinton Odhiambo hopes he'll gain more from the industry in Kenya. He mentors young talent in the capital Nairobi at an art center in Kibera. It has an unwanted reputation as being Africa's largest slum. But these children are learning to paint a sunset in the savannah on canvas. Most of the young artists in Kibera have had their basic training here. It's a place that keeps children off the streets and also nurtures their talent. The trainers we talked to said the children they're working with have a huge potential. Odiambo says he's painted since he was seven years old. His work has helped him pay some bills but still struggles to survive. It's hard to get the art curators coming to the studio most of the time to see your works and comment about them. And also, it's all about recognition. The artists in Kibera Center are, however, optimistic that one day their art will also feature in prestigious auctions such as this one. In just a few hours, most on display was sold, fetching not far short of a quarter of a million dollars. Catherine Soy, Al Jazeera, Nairobi, Kenya.